Do you have bad art days where you just can't seem to get it right, even if you've used that medium or drawn that subject plenty of times before? Well I think most artists have those days and I wanted to have a chat with you about some of the things that I do to help myself get through it. I'm Kirsty Rebecca and I make drawing and painting tutorials that are easy to follow even if you're just starting out. This piece is a watercolour painting of a cat in a loose expressive style. I used Archer's hot pressed watercolour paper in A5 size and Schminky watercolours, I'm not sure how, how to pronounce that name correctly, and added some Caran d'Ache luminance coloured pencil on top towards the end for some of the details. When I started this piece, I was having a bad art day. I've used watercolour numerous times before. I'm not an expert, but I've completed other pieces in this style with the same tools and today I just couldn't seem to get the hang of it. Some days I start a piece and I feel frustrated and disheartened that it's just not going well and I'm not sure why. It feels like it doesn't matter how much I work on it, it gets worse. So there are a few things that you can do. You can continue to work on it and keep going until it looks decent and you're happy to call it finished. You can change the direction of the piece it's going in to fix it by changing the style or the background or the colour or mix some mediums together or you can just start over. I try to never start over. I always try and finish my pieces first. I find that if I choose to start over on a piece then I don't learn how to work my way through those mistakes and fix a similar problem when I come across it again. A lot of the creative process is fixing mistakes or overcoming obstacles and that's what makes it enjoyable for me. I get stuck at some point in every single piece of artwork that I do and I have to work out a solution on how to fix the problem. Then next time it's easier because I've already been through that before. Whereas if I just quit and throw it out then I'll never know the answer to my problem. Sometimes I finish a piece and I know it could have been better but at least I know what to do next time now that I've spent the time to complete it. If I just start it over then I may run into the same mistake again. You need to challenge yourself and push through it. It's honestly so much more rewarding once you've finished it and overcome your obstacles. If you stop halfway and throw it out or put it aside, you may not feel motivated to start on a new piece because you're in the mindset that you're a terrible artist or you may question what you're doing in the first place. Trust me, I've, I have these thoughts with every piece that I do, but instead of giving up at that point, keep going, keep adding layers and keep working on it until you find a solution and push past the problem. If you truly think that your artwork is unfixable and that by starting over you can do a drastically better job than your first piece because you know what mistake you made and you know how to overcome it, then go ahead and start again if you want to. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just that when you start over because you've ruined a piece and you don't know why, then that's not going to help you grow and improve as an artist and it definitely won't help you in the future when you come across when you come across a similar issue. There are of course cases where I've ruined a piece by adding too many layers of pastel or coloured pencil where I can't add any more layers to fix it. Then I might throw it out and start again but in general there is usually something you can do to fix a piece that you think you've ruined. You just need to work out what that is with trial and error and don't worry about ruining your work because you're already in the mindset that it's ruined. So just try some things and you may surprise yourself and find a solution. Honestly, much like having a bad hair day, no one really notices when you have a bad art day. It sounds bad, but just because you feel like your artwork is not looking how you want it to doesn't mean that others will think that way as well. In your eyes, you may see your own artwork as a drastic, tragic disaster because you don't think it's going smoothly, but it probably doesn't come across that way to, in your artwork to your viewers as much as you think it does. Honestly, there have been pieces that I finished where I thought they were just okay, but other people loved them and they sold very quickly. And then I've had other pieces that I've spent days and days or months and months working on that I thought were my best piece ever, and then I had little to no reaction from my audience. It just goes to show that you should continue the piece and finish it to a point where you're comfortable showing it and then see what the reaction is. There might be people out there who love it. If you're really struggling with your artwork, sometimes taking a break for a couple of hours and then coming back to your piece, you'll have a fresh set of eyes and you'll be able to see the changes that you might need to make. Or if you work on a different piece of art that you know is going well, then that can help motivate you to try new things on the piece of artwork that you don't think is going very well. You can also take a break by going outside and doing some sketching in your sketchbook or take some photos of the wildlife or trees to be able to paint or draw later. And sometimes just getting out in the fresh air will really help you clear your mind and get back to that piece. 
You could also try just doing a quick sketch in your sketchbook of something that you know how to draw and something that you know will look good in the end. And that can give you that boost of confidence to be able to go back to your piece that you're struggling with. And if you're stuck on a specific problem that you can't seem to work out using trial and error on a separate piece of paper or however you do that, there are plenty of videos on YouTube or information on the internet where you can just search the question that you have specifically and see if you can get an answer that way and then apply that to your artwork. If you're having a bad art day, just keep pushing through, finish your piece and you can tell yourself along the way that you don't have to show it to anyone if it doesn't turn out how you want it to. Most of the time, it will turn out better than you thought it would. And if it doesn't, you can learn from your mistake and you'll know how to overcome that obstacle next time you come across it. Just think of it as a practice piece that you've learned from for your next main project. No time spent creating is a waste of time because you can learn from your mistakes and improve your artwork in the future. I've created a playlist with other art topics on the screen that I thought you might enjoy. So click on that and I'll see you over there.